Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Dr. Raul Kushwa from Predict Medics. How are you today? I'm good, Tracy. How are you? Well, let's start with congratulations. You're doing what everybody else in the world wishes they were doing. You're achieving mandates regularly and everybody's following your stock. So why don't we just start by asking you a real question. What are you doing right? Well, so it's about the different verticals that we are addressing with Predict Medics. I mean, we are an artificial intelligence company and we are solving the real world problems. COVID-19 pandemic, we are all in the midst of it. And there we have a technology which is to mass screen for COVID-19. Similarly, impairment, a huge issue when it comes to workplace and uh, law enforcement. And we have a solution for that. And the third vertical, mental illnesses. Again, $300 billion spent in the US last year. And there is so much subjectivity that goes into diagnosis. And we are developing a solution to diagnose mental illnesses. And of course, on top of it with COVID-19, we also have the virtual health, which is a massive industry. And we have the solution, which is addressing a lot of pitfalls, which is seen with current telehealth and telemedicine platforms. So overall, the market that we are addressing is perhaps a market which is greater than $300 billion a year. Okay, so I guess what you're telling, and I'm going to dumb it down for, for many of us, is that it's still a good time to get in the stock. It's not overvalued. Is that correct? Well, you just have to look at the comparables. And uh, just considering the different verticals we are in, the technologies we have, the partners we have, uh, there is um, a lot of upside that we still see with Predict Medics. I do remember the first time I met you when I told you were the only client I think I've ever asked to dumb down your management and board team. I think the lightweight on your uh, board and management team only has one PhD. I think that's correct. The rest are multiple. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay, so let's go through these verticals if you don't mind. Obviously, COVID-19 is on everybody's mind. Mm. Can you tell us exactly how Predict Medics is using AI to solve the world's problems? So what we have developed are these modules which look like metal detectors. So you essentially walk through these modules and on the other end you have a green or a red light. If someone is identified to be positive for COVID-19 symptoms, a red light goes off. If not, then you get a green light. And it's really a tool that you can use for mass screening at airports, uh, transit hubs, malls, office buildings, government buildings, uh, really anywhere you can imagine where you have a big flow of people. And of course, many of us who have endured a COVID-19 uh, test uh, can't wait to find out how you can make this accessible to us immediately. What's the timeline for getting this uh, testing uh, application deployed to the public? So um, that's imminent. <laughs> okay, so we'll take that as a positive and then we'll go on to the second one. I think also the first time I met you, I was I was fascinated because you had provided another solution that I thought was a real issue with all of the cannabis craze that had happened in the last year's market. Is you had found a way for the police, for instance, to test an individual for both sobriety with alcohol and cannabis simultaneously, so there's not two different tests. And of course, the cannabis test had always been uh, questionable at the best of times. Can you give us an update on that and how you're doing with that? So again, we are moving full steam ahead with commercialization of our cannabis and alcohol screening technology. And again, it's a no touch, no, uh, I mean, there is no uh, biological uh, sample which is involved. It's more about, again, people walking through a similar setup, which is similar to a metal detector. That you walk through those through these modules, the modules have all the cameras, all the hardware which is needed, and uh, they communicate with our technology on the cloud. And within a split second, you actually have an answer if someone is impaired under the influence of cannabis or alcohol. So again, that is also a mass screening tool which can be deployed at workplaces, for instance. Okay, very, very interesting. So let's just move, I think you said the third vertical was mental illness. Okay, so let's talk about, let's talk about mental illness. I don't even know where to go with that. We're like, we're following the psychedelics industry sector and I, I had one of my investment advisors tell me he's visiting a shaman and trying LSD and I, I uh, everybody, mental illness, we're all interested. Tell us uh, how you're dealing with that and, and what solution you're providing presently. 
And again, I mean, mental health is something which has really come to the forefront with this uh, isolated environment we are in with COVID-19. And again, just looking at the numbers, last year, um, over $300 billion were spent in the U.S. And it's something that a huge chunk of population battles with every year. But when it comes to diagnosis, there is actually a lot of subjectivity which is involved in terms of diagnosing a person with a specific mental illness. So our take is, let us completely eliminate that subjectivity. What we have is really an AI technology uh, that pretty much sits in front of you, um, it looks at you, it hears you, and it's about having that technology identify what kind of mental illness the person is likely to suffer from or is suffering from. Now, there is so much interesting information and so much news flow coming through your company as well on a regular basis. So I'm just going to point people to your website because the question that I want to or the point that I would like to draw investors' attention to, in addition to those three verticals we just touched upon that I think is significant, that is undervalued and underappreciated by the market because they just don't understand it because probably most people are like me. You just have so much news going through, it's hard to keep up. But you have contracts with multi-billion dollar companies and I don't think people appreciate the significance of that. So can you talk to us a little bit more about that, please? Oh, definitely. I mean, for instance, if you look at Tech Mahindra, uh, it's part of a conglomerate of companies which are worth hundreds and billions of dollars. Uh, Tech Mahindra is an information technology company uh, with operations all over the world. They have a huge footprint even in Canada, and they are putting together our uh, COVID-19 screening and our impairment solution as, uh, as a bundle in, in technologies that they're going to be selling in a post-COVID-19 environment. So for a tech entity which has been ranked by Forbes amongst the top 20 uh, IT companies in the world, uh, to actually take our technology and take it to that level, I mean, it speaks volumes, not just about what we have done in terms of developing our technology, but also in terms of the need for that technology in the market. Because you got to remember that an entity like Tech Mahindra, they are actually working with Fortune 500 companies all over the world. So basically, you're solving the world's problems with AI technologies, and you have multi-billion dollar corporation contracts in place already, or the, the partners are, and you have substantial news flow. Am I missing anything? Well, there is one thing that you're missing, and it's really our uh, telehealth and telemedicine platform, which also does a lot of remote patient monitoring. Like right now, uh, if someone is identified to be positive for COVID-19, they are placed in quarantine, for instance. Now, how do you monitor that individual? I mean, that individual cannot go to a clinic. You cannot have a doctor or nurse visit that individual. And that's where the remote patient monitoring comes into play. And we have a platform which is designed to do that. And more so than that, I mean, we are actively working not just on the business development side, but also on the technology development side. Uh, the last patents we filed, for instance, they pertain to our uh, telemedicine platform, and one of the patents actually deals with the utility of AI, how it can capture all this remote patient monitoring, vitals, all the information, and actually churn out recommendations to the physicians, which can assist them in terms of perhaps making a diagnosis and also coming up with a treatment plan. Well, I'll tell you, Dr. Kishwa, if you'll do us a favor, and every time we put a news release out, just call us on Skype, and then you can walk us through it so we can try and keep up with not just the news flow, but obviously where it might go and help us appreciate how strategic your company is. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Tracy. It's a pleasure.